but don't fear them to where you do things that go against the word of God. Understand? Okay. This is the end of part one. Thank you. spirit out of your life. Jesus commanded. When you command, you don't do it gentle. That's the hand of the lamb. We have to exercise the hand of the lion when we work with the enemy. If we don't command them, they'll command us. If we don't deliver them, they'll deliver us. Come on. So we must go at the enemy the way Jesus did. Command them out. Are you ready? In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, we command with the name of Jesus every foul spirit to get out of your life, every strong man to get out of your life, every demonic power to get out of your life and take the demons with them. In Jesus' name, every foul spirit gone out in Jesus' name out in Jesus name you are replaced with the power the presence and the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name fire 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 of the Holy Spirit be on you the fire of the Holy Spirit be on you the fire of the Holy Spirit be on you we command every spirit of bondage holding people with addictions drugs alcohol gambling shopping eating, greed, overspending, selfishness. We command that spirit of bondage out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Replaced with the power of the presence and anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. We command every death and dumb spirit. Every spirit that is a disease from the neck up. Neurological, bipolar, learning disorder schizophrenia, paranoia, all of those silly diseases that people were born with and attributed after they were born. Out in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb spirit, I call you by name. Take all your demons with you. Leave these good people alone. Leave their children alone. In Jesus' name. We will not stop until you're gone. In Jesus' name. We command the fire of the Holy Ghost be on you. The fire of the Holy Ghost be on you. The fire of the Holy Ghost be on you. Out! You are replaced with the power, the presence, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. Now, we come at the spirit of infirmity. Every disease from the neck down. In Jesus' mighty name. Every disease from a cold to cancer, you fall into the spirit of infirmity. We command that spirit of infirmity out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. You're replaced with the power, the presence, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. You keep this up, and you keep it up, and you keep it up. If you're feeling irritated, if you're feeling heat on you, that's the demon feeling the heat of the Holy Spirit, and it's working its way out. It's getting off your back. It's getting out of your house, your problems. Keep it up. Be persistent. That devil's job is to wear you out. It's your job as a Christian to wear him out. Kick him out and keep him out. Do not give up. Do not grow weary in well-doing, for in due season you will reap if you faint not. Don't faint. Don't let the devil overtake you and overtake your children and your finances and your career and your health and all of it. Get him out. Don't deal with it. Deliver it. In Jesus' mighty name, we command the spirit of perversion and whoredom. Out! Every sexual perversion. The spirit of confusion, not knowing if you're a male or a female. Transvestites, lesbians, homosexualities, all foul, ugly, strong man spirits and their demons trying to destroy good people's lives. We command you out. It's not the person. It's the demon behind the person. Command them out. You hate the sin and you love the person. In Jesus' name, we command you foul spirits out. Get out of these good people's lives. Get out. It is against the Bible and it's against God. We must be on God's side to make it to heaven. Hell is real and so is heaven. I love you enough to tell you, get that demon off your back. Be free. 
and who the Son of God, the risen Son of God sets free, is free indeed. Be free today. Grab a hold of it. Re cast those foul spirits, those strong men out of your life. All the demons out of your life and be free. Replace those spirits with the power, the presence, and the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. Read your Bible every day, especially after deliverance. Self-deliverance is very possible. Just do it and keep it up and keep it up until your children are free, until you are free, until your spouse is free, until your business, your ministry, your loved ones, your career, everything about you is free from demonic activity. You have the power to do it. The Word of God the blood of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Spirit is so amazing. The devil hates the fire of the Holy Spirit. Burn up those things. They can't stand the fire of the Holy Spirit and the whole armor of God. Oh, the word of God, the blood of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the fire of the Holy Spirit and the whole armor of God. I call it the grace package. All five of them together, the grace package. Five is grace, mercy, and love. All of those in favor, too. All of that. Number five is a great number. So grab a hold of the, the mercy and grace that God has given you with his name, his blood, the fire of the Holy Spirit, the whole armor of God. Amen? And you tell them, demons, to get out of your life now! And you speak with authority. And if you speak like a little wimp, they'll laugh at you and make your life worse. So you must speak with authority and you will get what you say because, not because we're, no, we're nothing. Through Christ, we can do everything. Nothing is impossible with God. And when we link to God, we can do anything. It's aligned up with God's word. He gets the glory, not us. We stay humble. He gets the honor. He gets the respect. After all, we're these little people and he's this big spirit that created the universe. Come on. God Almighty, Jesus Christ, the risen Son of God, the powerful Holy Spirit, who is everywhere at all times and is there for you every day. Utilize what God has given you, especially now, in these last days, especially now. Set yourself free. Set your children free. You can't give away something that you don't have. And if you're not free yourself, you can't deliver others. So always focus on yourself first. Jesus said... Um, Get the plank out of your own eye before you pick the speck out of someone else's. So focus on yourself first when it comes to deliverance. And then deliver others and pray for others. When it comes to love and mercy and giving, that's when you focus on others before yourself. And love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. So I pray that these deliverance prayers worked. And if you're feeling irritated yet, if you're feeling frustrated yet, that just means those demons know that you want them out. That means that they're still in there, they're still on your back, and they got to go. But if you feel free, that means they left. They're gone. They know. So you that feel a little frustrated and hot and irritated yet, that's that just that leech coming out. You don't have to be upset or afraid about anything. You just keep praying this prayer. You push replay, 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 replay until that demon is gone and you're crying your eyes out and feeling free in the Lord. You might just go dancing, just happy in the spirit not at the bars I'm talking dancing with the Lord like like King David danced you might cry your eyes out and just feel free that's beautiful it's a it's a release I'm free many many people do that so keep pushing replay and get them demons out of your self first and your loved ones and everything else to do with you you're on an assignment you want to make it to heaven you have to have deliverance you do not have to speak in tongues and you do not have to be baptized and you do not have to call God by certain names to make it to heaven. But you need deliverance. Jesus instructed his disciples, go ye into all the world, preach the gospel, lay hands on the sick and watch them recover. We need, we need to incorporate this into our churches, every one of them. Teaching can only go so far. If the people's lives in the pew are not changed, you need to find another place to go. Because we have to have teaching and healing and deliverance and prophecy in the church. Have all that God gave us going on inside the same church building at the same time or the otherwise. The truth is the Holy Spirit is nowhere in the building. Everybody's just working off of knowledge. What they know, what's written in the book and doing their routine and going to church. I know I did it for years. I realize that's religion. 
that's entertaining the crowd, that's just doing the routine. But the relationship is when it comes from the heart. The relationship is when you do it from the heart, you set your congregation free. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday are different for them from the last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They're different, they're changed, their life gets better and better and better. The demons are out. The people are healed. The prophecies come to pass. The prophecies give encouragement, give them hope and faith. And they get the teaching from the Word of God. Come on, you'll know them by their fruit. Let's have good fruit. Replay this over and over again until those demons leave your life, get off your back. It's not your fault. We were all born in sin. Then we realize when we wake up, we grow up, we have to get this sin off of us to make it to heaven. Deliverance. You do not need to be baptized or speak in tongues to make it to heaven. But you do.